that video, can a motorcycle brake faster than a car, you'll know that an average bike can stop quicker than an average car. And if you've seen our video on two-fingered braking, you'll know that using this technique can reduce the stopping distance by around 4 metres at 100 kilometres an hour. In this video, we'll look at the braking distances between using just your back brake, front brake and combined braking. The front brakes on a motorcycle do the majority of the stopping work. Not only are they bigger than rear brakes, when you slow down, weight is transferred to the front of the motorcycle and hence the front wheel. But is your back brake only used for low speed manoeuvres? Or does using it provide extra stopping power, especially in an emergency situation? Let's take a look. Using the front brake only in this example takes the bike from 80 km an hour to zero in about 17 metres. And as you can imagine, relying solely on the rear brake when braking for the same speed takes much longer, around 40 metres. Let's now have a look if the rear brake and front brake used together provides any additional stopping power. By using both the front and rear brakes, stopping distance improves by around 4 metres from using the front brakes alone, which is a massive 23% reduction. In an emergency situation, it's essential that you use both brakes. While the rear brake is much less powerful than the front, it will still help the bike stop quicker than using the front brakes alone. This is why it's critical to smoothly apply front brake pressure. If you apply too much front brake pressure too quickly, you can lift the rear wheel of the bike up 